Welcome guys to part four in our multi-part video series all about lithium batteries and how they pertain to the RV lifestyle. I've got David Bayless from BM Pro and Ryan Hammond from Sentry. Now Sentry is an absolute expert when it comes to lithium batteries. Now guys, the cost of lithium batteries, undeniably they're more expensive than a lead acid battery. Um, I'm of the view, buy once, cry once. Um, love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, definitely. Look, we've had a lot of pushback initially. I mean, I guess it's like any new technology as well. The price starts up really, really high, and then over time that starts to come back. What we're seeing now is that the prices of lithium batteries as a replacement for a, a standard 100 amp hour uh, um, battery is that the prices now are coming back to an area where it is affordable and it does justify it. it the numbers now are really stacking up. Yeah, so there's a couple of different ways you can uh, you can look at it. So the, we spoke in, in some of the earlier um, videos about the life cycle of a lithium battery when compared to a seal lead acid or an AGM. So with a uh, lithium ion phosphate battery, you're getting about 2,000 cycles uh, at 100% effective discharge. Uh, compare that to uh, an AGM, for example, and we've got some tests that uh, Dave will show uh, later on. I think it was uh, in the order of like 350 to 400. And they were dead after that. And they were dead cycles at a AGM. So already you'd be replacing uh, acetylid acid five, six, seven, up to eight times uh, with in just one lithium ion phosphate. So your total cost of ownership over the life of the battery, uh, you have to consider that. And in fact, it's a lower cost option to go lithium if, you, if you're utilising the, uh, the capabilities in the cycle life of the lithium battery. Well, with the testing which we've done out the back here, we've got a lithium battery, one of the Sentry ones, 100 amp hour, been going now for I think just over 1100 cycles, still showing at approximately 94% full capacity. We would have had to replace it with four to five lead acid batteries already to get the total available amp hours out of that battery and out of the system as a whole. Yeah, no, that's right. And and so on the specifications uh, of the Century, the BM Pro Century battery, we talk about 2,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge, mm. and we guarantee that you'll still have 80% capacity remaining after those 2,000 cycles. So in 100 amp hour batteries, you still have at least 80 amp hours usable uh, available capacity. And um, David's uh, testing, the BM Pro testing, has shown that uh, we're well on track to hit that mark. So question without notice, um, I might spend a few hundred dollars on a sort of a middle of the range 100 amp hour deep cycle battery, mm -hmm. what 300? Mm -hmm. About yeah, that? About that yeah. 300, 400 dollars. For a 100 amp hour deep cycle <coughs> lead acid battery, uh, for a, a century equivalent, what would I be up for? You'd be looking at approximately $1,400. Okay. You can get cheaper batteries, you can get more expensive batteries. I guess that's the same of any product that you find out there. But buy beware, as you said, buy once and you know, you've know you got it for a lifetime. We feel that they're a really good battery placed at a position really well in the middle of the market and they're performing exceptionally well from our testing. But yes, you can buy cheaper, but it's buy beware. Yeah, and I think one of the other things to consider when uh, comparing the, the pricing of uh, sealite acid versus lithium ion is the the runtime and you, you, of your application. So we we spoke in, again in previous uh, presentations about the equivalent capacity of a lithium ion phosphate versus your sealite acid. So the general rule of thumb that we use, and this is this is quite loose, is the that. With a sealed acid or an AGM, uh, in order to have a extended or a a, a reasonable life, it's you utilise fifty percent depth of discharge. So for a hundred amp hour battery, that might be fifty amp hour usable capacity, and that'll give you a reasonable life of six six fifty to seven fifty cycles. Mm -hmm. uh, with a lithium ion phosphate, as we said before, two thousand cycles at one hundred percent depth of discharge. But the general rule of thumb in the market is utilising about 80% of it. So 80% of the depth of discharge. And that gives you 80 amp hours usable capacity. So you've got 50 amp hours in a sealed acid uh, AGM versus 80 amp hours in lithium ion. And your number of cycles then comes up, doesn't it? The number of cycles so, does. So, yeah, so yeah. we're at 2,000 cycles for 100% depth of discharge. Yeah. Now what are we looking yeah. at? Six, six and a half yeah. thousand? From yeah, maybe not quite. Three and a half. Three and a half. Yep. Yeah. Um, so sort of 10 times the, Ten the, times. the yeah. uh, life. Um, and yeah, so you've then got two options. 
you can opt for a similar size capacity runtime, 100 amp hour lithium for 100 amp hour AGN, or you can opt to save a bit of money up front and go for a slightly smaller one. Uh, so you might be using a 125 amp hour AGM or in your in your caravan. Uh, you want to say you, you want to swap to lithium, but just want to save a little bit of money, then why not step down to 100 amp? Mm, sure. yeah. It's going to give you ex greater runtime than your than your AGM. So anyway. just to clarify, that six and a half thousand that I was referring to before was sorry if you're doing a 50 percent. Yep. So on a lithium, if you're doing a 50 percent depth mm -hmm. of discharge, like you would be on a lead acid, yep. then you're getting up to six to six and a half thousand um, cycles on the battery. So is it fair to say that the um the lithiums, though, in terms of value, um, really shine more over the long term than up front? Uh, yeah, but there, there are, as I've mentioned before, there are yeah. strategies in order to reduce your upfront costs. Yeah. As I said, you can just downsize the, the uh, capacity of your battery and go for a slightly, uh, slightly smaller one and still have the equivalent runtime. Um, one of the other points of lithium ion phosphate, and we'll, uh, we'll get to this probably a bit later on, but got a very flat discharge curve, which means that as you discharge the battery, the terminal voltage doesn't drop off. So it holds its terminal voltage all the way down to sort of 90% um, depth of discharge. What that means is that the, the battery provides power, power equals volts times amps. As the voltage starts to drop, as it would on a, an AGM batteries, then it has to, the, device draws a high amount of current, amps, in order to provide the same amount of power. Therefore, it uses the available capacity much quicker, faster. Yeah. much faster. So lithium ion phosphate with that flat discharge curve has a very efficient use of its available capacity, which again will give you uh, extended runtime when compared to AGM. So you've certainly got the cost issue in regards to its capacity and its is it value for money on the total amount of power that you can draw out of that. And I think we've gone through and shown that. But you're also paying for the fact that it charges faster. You can discharge at mm -hmm. higher rates. You've got your weight factors. You've got your lifetime cycle. So it's not just that amount of available amp hours mm -hmm. where it absolutely shines through, but it's all those other features that we've spoken about before of where the lithium really comes through and does give you value for money. Yeah, I think that David just um, touched on a point there, which is uh, another important point, especially in RVs, and especially if you've got larger battery systems in your in your caravan, uh, increasing the weight. You can imagine from going from 100 kilos down to 30 kilos, dropping 70 kilos off, also increases the fuel efficiency when you're towing yeah. the car. Okay, so you've then got some savings on your on the uh, on the fuel. Yeah, especially over the long so, term. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's got really the, the weight is a, is a, a saving as well over the life of the battery. Mm. Although let's be honest, most caravans will just go. Oh, I've saved thirty kilos. Oh, I'll just chuck in another case of water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> True. <laughs> They're the ones I want to meet. <laughs> David Ryan, thank you so much. And guys, don't miss next month because we're going to be talking all about voltage.